Hello guys, it's me, your boy Lord Triton, and today we'll be talking about Idips has just gone a new low. He's gone a new low. Now, what, what am I talking about here? So, I've made a video um on Idips like, you know, like a week ago. You're just talking about because he's talking bad about his fans and you're just being a sensitive little bitch and you know, I made a video roasting him and um you know, calling it out for being a little stupid little bitch, but he's gone a new low with his sensitivity. So this is so he's hosting this event called Creator Clash, right? And this is a good, you know, this is like a good charity event, right? It's a charity event for like, you know, people with cancer and all the other stuff, you know, it's like, you know, all the money that this um event makes is going straight to charity, which is yeah, that's good, you know. I acknowledge the fact that this is for charity, but that's the thing. This is a YouTuber named Foggy Fresh who was fighting in the event, and um, he made some jokes about Idubs and Anissa, you know, Anissa doing OnlyFans and Idubs being a cuck, and he also kind of had a little spot with um, Anissa's mom because Anissa's mom was, like, going at him first, which, you know, the obvious person would, you know, go back as if someone's going at you. You know, you go back at them. That's what you're supposed to do, right? And, you know, they didn't like it. You know, Idubs didn't like the jokes Foggy Fresh made. So they, you know, stripped them. They they stripped them off out of the event. And, um, yeah. So let's see what the initial statement is. This has been a change in the lineup of Foggy Fresh will be no longer fighting against Chris Rager will announce his placement in the coming days, which is three weeks left. The countdown to Creator Crash 2 has begun. That statement was not enough because, you know, everybody, including myself, Froggy and everybody, you know, had questions. We wondered why they, um, stripped him. You know, I mean, we already know because, you know, Foggy Fresh is also, like, trading with Sam Hyde, and Idubs hates Sam Hyde. So, yeah, like, I feel like it's just a personal vendetta and excuse to remove Foggy Fresh. But let's see what he said about all this. As you may be aware, we recently announced Foggy Fresh would be leaving the Credit Crash 2 ticket. He didn't leave. Y'all kicked him out because y'all are scumbag sensitive people, even though that's what you used to be against. We want to provide some additional information around the rationale for this decision to help clarify some of the online chatter. We have a legally binding code of conduct that each of our creator class fighters are held to, the violation of which is ground for termination. Unfortunately, there were several violations made by Foggy Fresh during his tenure with Creator Clash this year. Creator Clash team, exclusive production company, takes violations very seriously and made several unsuccessful attempts to address them directly with Foggy Fresh. That's a lie because Foggy Fresh came out on Twitter and said he got no email, no nothing, and when y'all made that initial tweet, Y'all only notified in 15 minutes that he was leaving. No warnings, no nothing. So why are you lying, Idubs? Why the fuck are you lying? Why are you always lying? Oh my god, stop fucking lying. In the hopes we could work together to get things on track, but it came clear that the, the behavior wasn't stopping. What behavior? The fact that he made jokes about you? Um, being a cuck? The fact that he made jokes about Anissa having OnlyFans? I mean, you were the one that made a video saying you were okay with it. So, and you even said you were okay with jokes about it. So now all of a sudden, jokes are not allowed? Like, what? What other behaviors? Like, you said there's several violations. What other violations? Why can't you specify, huh? When it became clear that the behavior wasn't stopping at the risk of the other fighters, fans, and others in the very creative clash team has made the collective decision to move forward without Foggy Fresh on the ticket. Our number one priority issuing a creative clash is a positive, safe, welcoming space for everybody. 
Welcome in space, what? Coming from the same guy who used to say that, um, used to say that saying the N-word's okay. Like, you used to be super edgy, bro. Like, what? But now you want a safe space when you're the same guy that says there's no safe space anywhere? That anyone can make jokes anywhere? You're the same guy that said that, right? Oh, you want to make a safe space. You know, you want to be this positive, nice guy, even though you used to make fun of positive, nice people. Like, what? We look forward to kicking off an amazing event and raising a lot of money for charity, clay, clash, and items. I've already donated 50k for each of Foggy Fresh Supported Charity, Kids Foundation. They will remain better. Fighters have been also working hard, blah, 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 blah. And Foggy tweets this out. Now, I've been threatened with a potential lawsuit if I spoke out about the entire mess and demanding the 15k I used for training, equipment, travel, etc. over the last five months. Unbelievable. Is this for charity? Or oh, what's going on? Now, I just have to say, new fucking low, Idubs. You are potentially, allegedly... Suing Foggy Fresh for money you gave him just because you don't want him on the event no more? What is wrong with you, bro? Like, you are just like your friend H3. No wonder why you guys are friends. Y'all literally used to be edgy, and now all of a sudden you guys are cancel culture guys. Y'all literally cancel culture dweebs who are literally deplatform anybody that they do not like or that makes jokes about them. You guys are pathetic, bro. Items, if you do sue Foggy Fresh, that will be so bad for you. That will literally be the worst decision you'll ever make. You think your reputation's ruined now, bro. You think your reputation's ruined now? Because it sure is. Like, a lot of your old fans don't even like you no more because you, for one, shit talk them. Two, you're sensitive. Like, you really think... Like, this will be good for your event if you do sue Foggy Fresh. Like, bro, people like Hardy and Dad and these other people that are defending you are saying, just stop making this about drama. This is supposed to be for the charity. Well, if y'all truly believe, if you truly believe that, Idubs, don't go forward with the lawsuit. You're just going to ruin the event. And the event will fail because you decide to sue a guy over hurt feelings. Cause that's what it is. You're probably, you're mad that he's training with someone you don't like. You're also mad that he made jokes about you. So what? You made worse jokes about a lot of people. You made fucked up jokes over the years. You've said a lot of stupid stuff. Maybe you shouldn't even be running Creator Clash if you want Creator Clash to have a positive image. Because what you did in the past doesn't give Creator Clash a positive, safe image, bro. Like you're literally being a cancel culture dweeb. Like, bro, what is, what's gone into you? Like, for real. You never used to be like this, bro. You never, ever used to be like this. You're now gonna sue people for just making jokes about you? Just because you, you're gonna make, you're literally, like, that's the thing. You cannot legally sue Foggy Flesh because you gave him the money from the train. And you're the one that chose to kick him off the event. He didn't just cancel... And not get all off the event. And you know. He didn't just cancel the event last minute. And take the money. You're the one that removed him. So you sh you don't have a right. To take the money back. You really don't. And the fact that you're threatening him. To get him to shut up. That's blackmail bro. That's literally blackmail. You're literally blackmailing Foggy Fresh. Just because you don't like that he made jokes about. And he said, doing an OnlyFans. Like, what is wrong with you? You're going so far as to blackmail a guy just because you don't like the jokes he's made and you don't like the person he's training with. That's what it is. Foggy Fresh has no, has done no fire relations. He don't deserve this, bro. Like, what's gone into you? Like, seriously. I know I keep on repeating this. What's gone into you? Like, did you just... Like, have a bad dream of you getting canceled or beat up about being edgy and you just woke up and now you're just a sense of liptard. Like, what's gone into you? Like, you never used to be like this. Where's the old I-dubs? The old I-dubs would never approve of this behavior. He would not. 
He wouldn't. Like, he would not. You have fallen from grace, bro. You really have. Nobody should be supporting you. Which I hope the event goes well. Not for you. Not not to support you. Because you're honestly a scumbag piece of shit. But I want the charity to do well. And that's the thing too. Um, Keemstar and the Misfits are, you know, doing their own boxing event for Foggy Fresh for charity as well. Which is W. Now I've had criticism for Keemstar, but that's a good thing to do. Because this man did get screwed over. You know, he wasted time and money on this event. And you just took it away from him. And you're ruining this event over being offended. Like, what is wrong with you, Idubs? That's the thing, you know. Hopefully, Chris Wagon, you know, you know takes um, Foggy Fresh's thing of boxing him with the Misfits thing. And I hope this Crater Clash thing goes well. Even though I don't like... You know, the Crater Clash team or the people who are running it because they're obviously going to ruin the event. But I want this event to go well. That's the thing. A lot of people that are defending it are just saying, oh, you just want to ruin the event. No, we don't. We want this event to go well. Like, a lot of the people in the commentary community, and that's the thing. I don't agree with a lot of the people, you know, opinions. I don't like, I've criticized a lot of the people, but they're right in this situation. I hate... To have to side with popular opinion. But I'm actually siding with popular opinion here. I'm actually siding with people like Keemstar, Augie, and etc. I'm actually siding with them. Because they're actually right in this situation. They're right. Idub's fucked up. He screwed Foggy Fresh over. Just to be a sensitive little bitch. Like, what is wrong with you, Idub's? What's gone, like, what's just, what's wrong with you? You're going to sue a guy, and, you know, you're going to ruin the whole event, and that whole event's going to crash. That's the thing. This is supposed to be for charity, not for drama, bro. Like, why do you have to make everything into a drama? Why can't we all just be, you know, together as a community, do this chari- charity event, and um, just raise charity? Like, we're not supposed to be fighting like this. We're not supposed to be arguing about this. We're not supposed to be suing people. We're supposed to be together no matter what and help raise money for this charity. Why do you have to make this a two drama, Ida? because your feelings got hurt. Even though you used to make jokes about people in the past. You used to do worse to people. You used to actually harass people sometimes. You literally made racist jokes against rice gum, bro. You literally made racist jokes against rice gum. Calling him chink and all that stuff. You... Literally did worse than what Foggy Fresh has done to Anissa. Like, but am I going to hold it against you? Like, bro, like you're so hypocritical. Like, that's the thing. People want to make jokes, but they don't want the jokes directed towards them. That's what this is. Idubs wants to dish it out, but he cannot take it in once it's on him. That's why, like, when... He's like, that's the thing. He could say the N word to Tanamongu and make Tanamongu uncomfortable. But when his own fans do it to him, he gets mad. He gets mad about it and he cries. And he says, Oh, I don't like my fans. I don't like my fans, even though my fans are doing what I did. Just to me. He does not want it done to him. But he wants it to do, he wants to do it to other people. Like, what? That makes no sense. Anyways, this is me, your boy, Lord Triton. What do y'all think about the situation? Idubs, like, well, seriously, fuck this guy. Idubs is a fucking scam artist. You should not support him. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you dislike the video, hit the like button anyways, because this like button is gone. Comment your thoughts down below. It's been me, your boy, Lord Triton. I'm signing out. Peace.